Well, hey there, I'm Liz Rohr, and you're watching MP Practice Made Simple, the weekly videos to help save you time, frustration, and help you learn faster so you can take the best care of your patients. So I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm doing a Q&A from the community. I have a question here that I had an email about, and I really want to be able to share answers to your questions within a larger community, because if you have a question, it's very, very likely that other nurse practitioners have the same question is from Beth um, from Oklahoma City and what her question was is about uh, wonder how how to know if you're on the right path and so for her just to kind of sum up her question what she was asking is she's getting the same feelings like she got when she was a nurse of what did I get myself into and how do you know when it's time to like what is your path in the first year and how do you know when it's time to change jobs because I shared recently on a video that I changed jobs and uh, she wants to know like when is the time to know that and in her current practice um, she really uh, is grateful for everything that she learned but she feels like she's so busy charting and putting out fires that she's not really learning the basics and she also kind of feels like she's more of an assistant to a medical provider, more so than uh, her own clinician, uh, kind of following up with questions and tasks instead of doing her own uh, kind of panel work. And family is really important to her and she's not happy charting all the time and feeling really stressed and working late. So Beth, thank you so much for this question. And I just, my heart goes out to you and I'm sorry it's taking me so long to respond to you, but I just wanted to say that this is an incredibly common experience. I like literally could have written, written this myself with a few changes, but um, I think that this is a very common experience from what I hear from you nurse practitioners in that they feel questioning, why did, what did they get them, themselves into? Is this the right path? Did they make a mistake? Should they go back to like their old job where they knew what they were doing? Like it's, it's crazy how common this experience is I do a ton of talking to new nurse practitioners and I am observing the landscape in many different platforms and I really hear it all the same. And even just working myself and working one on one with other new nurse practitioners in person, it's very common to at the very beginning. I think it's just part of that transition of just feeling completely overwhelmed. Like for me, for example, like what I would do is I would see a patient. Um, I'd have to look something up for every single one of them. Uh, I'd go out of the room, look something up very quickly on up to date, ask my colleagues because I didn't believe in my own confidence, my own abilities, my own knowledge, just to get verification until I got a little bit of pushback from one of my mentors who was like, you know what, like you can do this, make a decision and move forward. Um, and so th that's how my daily life looked like. And I also just felt like I was constantly working. I came in early, I stayed late, like an hour on each side. And I also worked on the weekends. And for a really long time, I worked like that. I mean, I think I probably worked like that for the first full year, if not later. I think it took me about a year and a half to two years to really feel like I got things under better control. Um, I didn't have a, a, a child at the time. I have a toddler now. And that was workable for me and my life. I don't know what it would be like now having my daughter, if it would be the same, but I think that's a very common experience for people. And a lot of reasons why new nurse practitioners get really frustrated. And I think that for me personally, the path forward, I think I kind of accepted that as part of my journey and I was okay with it. I don't love that that's really common. You know, I think that really wears on new nurse practitioners in their first years. Uh, and I wish it wasn't that way, which is part of the reason why I have this website to kind of hopefully make that easier, that transition, but it's really common. In terms of me and my own path and how I decided to kind of go forward, one thing part of your question was feeling like you are someone's assistant and you're not really your own clinician. And I feel like it really depends on the state and the type of practice that you work in. But if you, for me, in, in the setting that I work in, in Massachusetts, community health centers typically the ones that I've interviewed at, at least, have a very independent practice model where they have their own panel of patients, they do their own work, they have their own patients, and they're only covering for other providers, whether NP or MD, if they're out. Whereas in some other practices in the same state, potentially like hospital-based or something else like that, they have very different roles. Like one of my colleagues that I used to work with in a primary care PCP type of setting, I'm still a PCP, but for her, she is in a specialist practice at a major hospital and she sees patients off of like the MD's panel. And so they see the MD and then every other visit, they alternate with the nurse practitioner and they have to do more of those like task related things that 
have at each each has its own side, right? Um, you know, I prefer PCP because that just fits better for my personality and, and what I enjoy about my job. However, it would be really nice in some ways to not have like the onus of the responsibility on me when it's not my panel, if that makes sense. And there's, a, you know, more to say about that in terms of pluses and minuses. But but yeah, I mean, I think the, the unfortunate part of what I've seen for people is that if if that transition of taking that long of a time to get used to the amount of workload, I think the reason why it takes so long to get used to it is that you have to stop and think really hard and do a lot of reading and research for every single decision that you make when you're brand new in the first year to two years. Whereas now, like I've looked all this stuff up you know, a million times. And so I can make decisions a lot faster. I finish my notes faster. I know exactly to ask in my visit based on the notes and the differential diagnoses that I've seen before. And so I, it's a breeze now and I barely take things home. I mean, I do have to come in early and stay a little bit late so I don't actually chart at home. But, um, and that's a little bit inescapable in primary care. But I think the other thing to think about is, is like, are you seeing too many patients? Do you, are you, are you getting paid for administrative time? Um, and is that, or if you have all of those things that you want, like, is this, is this a good fit for you in terms of working full time? And isn't an option to decrease your time? Because I think that the other things that I've seen for people is if they can't handle that or they don't like that, they typically cut down. But I do have to say, if there's any reassurance going forward, um, it does get better and better. I think one thing that I would encourage you in terms of making that decision of what's the right path for you is to really, I think that sometimes, especially as ambitious, smart, like really driven people that we are as nurse practitioners, I think it's very easy to override our own needs, especially as caregivers too. And I think what's really important is if you can kind of slow down, what I personally do is try really hard to just tune into my own intuition and my own body and think about what I want and how it makes me feel physically. Like, do I feel like contracted when I think about this particular job versus am I very excited about the prospect of doing like X, Y, or Z? And in terms of my, my personal transition between two jobs, I think it was a variety of lifestyle factors and uh, my commute was really long. The population was really heavy in terms of like a lot of high burden of mental illness and I just felt like it was time for a change. And for me physically, I just felt like I wasn't lit up as much as I had been before. Kind of going back to that feeling of like what lights you up and thinking about physically how that feels. So hopefully that's helpful. I mean, one reassurance that it does get better and that's a really common experience of taking a lot of work home and feeling like you're constantly working or constantly thinking about work. And then the other side of it is like, is this practice the best fit for you? Do you want more independence? Do you want your own panel? Uh, do you want to not be in primary care? Do you want to see less patients during the day? Like things like that. So um, if you haven't grabbed the ultimate resource guide for the new NP, definitely head over to realworldnp.com slash guide. I put together all my resources that are the, my favorite ones. And you also get these videos sent straight to your inbox every week um, and bonus content that I don't share anywhere else. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you soon.